Hello everyone, I am the Jaguar, and welcome back to my playthrough of Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's Ward. You saved your grace and father both, just the least I can do to repay you. Forgive my impatience, Marshal, but your missive mentioned a discovery. Yes, of course. As per your request, I had my men scour the waterways. Almost immediately, we encountered a difficulty. An entire section of the tunnel had collapsed. With the Mineral Concerns cooperation, however, we were able to remove the rubble, which yielded the battered bodies of a dozen crystal braves. Go on. Be at ease, Master Alphano. Your friends were not among the deceased. That alone is cause for hope. And then there's this. Yishtola's wand So we're potentially about to be reunited with our first scion The trail leadeth to the north and east Unto the bosom of the Twelve's Wood Are you certain? Aye, there is no mistake Thither hath Yishtola journeyed And yet the Gridanians have no reported no sightings must take this to mean she is still adrift. If it be so, I do fear for our friend. Contrary to its name, the life stream is no more akin to a raging torrent. Linger over long in the midst of this maelstrom, and the aether that formeth one's soul sh shall surely be scattered, near to be reformed. We have no time to waste. Arian J, pray explore all the possible options for reversing the effects of this forbidden magic. Nora, Tataru, we three shall press on to Gridania and petition the Elder Seedsayer's aid. To Gridania, then. In requesting the Elemental's assistance to find your Stola, you must needs be aware of one difficulty. A difficulty born of the fundamental difference between man and elemental. In perceiving the world around him, man relies upon senses such as sight and sound. Being formed of pure ether, however, such concepts are foreign to the elementals. Instead, they perceive by observing the ebb and flow of the energies of life. Though we seers can commune with them through feelings, Nought that we can impart will serve to aid them in identifying Yishtola. Nay, they must needs be presented with ether which is akin to hers. If you could but find a family member. Oh wait. I did the summoner quest line for a realm reborn. Doesn't she have a sister? Oh! I know just the person! Yastola has a sister who came to live in Gridania. She told me about her once. I was right. Oh, that is most fortunate indeed. Pray, seek this sister out then and bring her to Evershade. There, we shall petition the Great One's aid in finding your lost companion. Hearken to me, O oh Great Ones. Pray, give yourselves to the life stream. A drifting soul to find. Please, Yishtola. Please come back to us. Just Chola. And she's not wearing any clothes.
A room has been readied at the roost. Pray, bear her thither at once. All that remains is to pray, my friends. Oh, you just told that. Seeing her face again, it's... Oh, I've been so worried. Poor Tataru. She's too pure for this world. Now, while we wait for Yishtola to wake up, I thought I'd take the opportunity to finish my little surprise for her. It's something I've been working on for a while, in the hope that she'd one day return to us. It was just a couple more items before it's ready. I've already placed the orders for these items. Could I ask you to retrieve them for me? The Tatara's been planning something in hopes that Yashtola might one day be found. That's so wholesome. Hmm? Here to retrieve an order for Mistress Tatara, you say? You come at a good time. I finished it but moments ago. However did that girl come by chimerical hide anyways? You need either balls of steel or a bottomless coin purse, and it seemed to me she had neither. Tatara is like secretly the most powerful being in the universe. She's only used 0.5% of her power so far. Tataru. <laughs> oh. You are safe. Thank the Twelve. Something has changed about you, Elphino. Or mayhap the change is with me. I seem to sense the ether around me more keenly than before. I am pleased to see you well again. Do you feel strong enough to talk? Worry not. I am well enough. Tell us then, what befell you after you fled the feast? We were told that there had been a tunnel collapse. That was my doing. I brought the tunnel down that you and Minfidia might escape. At the last moment, I invoked a teleportation magic, in hopes of spiriting Thancred away at least. Needless to say, it did not go quite as planned, and I found myself adrift in the life stream. The others? Where are they? Did they not escape? They remain unaccounted for. You were the only one we have been able to find. Yep. I am truly sorry. It was the Crystal Braves who pursued you that day. My hubris that led to our undoing. No apologies are necessary, Alpha No. You are not to blame for what occurred. Know that were our comrades here, they would commend you for keeping the light of hope alive. Don't, don't worry. The others are alive and well, I'm sure of it. We just need to find them. Indeed, Tataru. Let us find our friends and rebuild the Scions. Ha! There is the Alphano I remember. And I feel much the better for his return. Tis time I arose. <gasps> that reminds me! I have a change of clothes for you! I don't like to boast, but I made them myself. I learned how to weave while we we're in Ishgard, you see.
Weeping is like the perfect job for a receptionist of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Like she can just make them armor. Tataru has apprised me of all that took place in the aftermath of the assassination plot. It would seem I have been away for some. Yes, much and more happened during your absence. At present, we seek to follow the Archbishop to Azisla. And you want for some manner of etheric ram to pierce the floating isle's protective barrier? We do. Might you be able to furnish us with one? A means to prise open a hole in an Alagarn barrier. And one large enough to admit an airship, no less. Hmm. Nay, I lack the knowledge to devise such a weapon. But I know of one who could. In my youth, I had the honor of studying under Matoya. In the field of etheric research, she was without rival. I have no doubt her knowledge will be of aid to our cause, so it is to the Dravanian hinterlands that we must go, to the place of my birth. Oh, the place of Alphino's birth. Though Alizé and I were born in Charlian, our days were short. We remained only until the exodus, and I have not yet returned since. Alphino lore bomb coming, maybe? Be warned that we shall be passing through Nath territory. We must needs be wary of them and dragons both. Nah, we got flying. We'll be good. Also, the quest we just picked up is 68, so I'm gonna go back and do the next Astrologian job quest. I was right, this random village up here did have a use to it. Nice. New ability. Collective unconsciousness creates a celestial ring around the caster. Reduces damage taken by 10% and applies Wheel of Fortune to self and any party members who enter. Wheel of Fortune effect to regen. Effect ends upon using another action or moving. Ah, uh, so it's... It regens anyone around me, but I have to be standing perfectly sk still. Not sure how useful that will be. I guess it'll be useful for if there's a incoming attack and everyone's standing in the same spot. Well, the Dravanian Forelands is my favorite zone in Heaven's Ward so far. So something tells me I'll like the Dravanian Hinterlands, too. To the Thaliac River, where to the melted snows of Abelathia's spine eventually find their way by means of a thousand silver streams. Whose waters have long nourished the Dravanian hinterlands, and so provided for a settlement of learned souls from across the northern seas. To the city of Charlian, that great seat of knowledge now abandoned by her keepers, they came. Oh wow, this is a pretty huge village. Goes all the way over there. Around here. Dang, our quest takes us halfway across the zone. Oh. Well, I'm max level of storm blood. I haven't even finished Heaven's Ward yet. Mostly because I've been doing the roulettes every now and then with my Astrologian. I've got big mechs. I 
This zone is so pretty. Aether current. Oh, here's Yishtola and Alphano. Bridge ahead is collapsed. I'm afraid we shan't be crossing there. Don't worry not, I know another way. See the towering structure to the north? We should be able to cross there. But fifteen years abandoned and already Charlian has fallen into such disarray. Verily, a city is no more than its inhabitants. I love exploring abandoned cities in games. Ah yes, the bridge is indeed broken. Just wanted to make sure. What's this big force field over here? So this is Charlian, and old Charlian is the new city in Endwalker, right? So I guess old Charlian is where the Charlians moved to? Oh, we have an ethernet shard. So this is like a miniature city. You've now attuned yourself to all the Ethernet shards in Idleshire. You mean the one tombstone ex exchange? Wow, I have a lot of tombstones, so I can already buy a lot of pieces of these armor. Guess there's no weapons you can buy with tombstones. Oh, here they are. Dang, I went from like item level 133 to item level 179. Alright, something's about to happen. Oh, dang. They got a tank. Oh, it's like Brave Blocks on hard mode. You have to knock away the bombs. Oh, there's one over here. It was at this moment that he knew. He. Alright, I'ma blow up your tank now. I think he's just gonna keep spawning more ads, so I'm just gonna focus the tank. Ha! to me. Have at you. Oh. Illuminati, no match for furious gob fists of brave blocks. Everyone shrugs. Not gonna lie, this might be my new favorite zone in Heaven's Horde. This music, though. One moment for clearing away barricade. Finally, we can continue our journey. Thanks for telling me to run, guys. Going into an even more deserted part of the city, it looks like. Got another bridge here. And it's broken, just like the last one. We're like under the main area up there. Now these are some pretty flowers. Frogs. Humanoid frogs. 
This is great. I love these little guys. Don't you know it's rude to enter without knocking? <laughs> the use of today. No manners at all. The one there in the fancy duds. That's Louis Soir's granddaughter, I take it. Ha, oh, granddaughter. <clears throat> Grandson, begging your pardons. Aziz La. I never thought I'd hear that name again. I love the frog just chilling in the back. Such secrets as lie buried on Aziz La aren't fit to see the light of day. And now you tell me a band of dragon-beating primal botherers are trying to dig them up? Yep. Ah, yes. A device which draws in ether and concentrates it to produce a destructive force. I feel like something's... I feel like Kishitola's eyes changed. Like, didn't they used to be green before? Oh, you were not exaggerating when you said that you had sealed it away. Though the city is abandoned, the library's guardians are all but certain to remain. We must needs cut a path through them. Come, let us away. The guardians more frogs? Now, the library's entrance is locked tight. I'll loan you one of my servants to open it. The broom yonder. Well, what are you waiting for? Introduce yourself, girl. You can talk. Um, Evil Gwimni's still switch to a roo. I'm disrespectful to dust. Can't you see that I'm serious? Okay. Oh, this is the broom I was supposed to talk to. Sarah Rogo. Woe is me, Ribbit. Mistress, Mistress Matoya will have my hide. You. You are our guest, and yet you would lend me your aid? Oh, thank you, kind adventurer. I am in your debt. Permit me to introduce myself, Ribbit. I am Sarah Rogo, a humble servant of Mistress Matoya. I am tasked with picking leaves from her herb garden, from which I make her tea. Alas, drawn to their medicinal properties, bugs have recently taken to ravaging their herbs. I attempted to get rid of these pests, but they are too much for a lone Pirogo to handle. I would be grateful if you could eliminate them in their stead. In my stead, Ribbit. Ah, uh, killing in-game mosquitoes. Almost as fun as killing real-life mosquitoes. I know it says fly, but they're clearly mosquitoes. Now I can resume my duties again. Harvesting and making tea. It is all I am capable of. I'm a failed creation, you see. Unlike my mistress's other children, I'm incompetent and cl clumsy. For want of a task I could, pre could perform, she bade me serve her tea seven times daily. But even in this, I needed assistance, Ribbit. Unless I make myself more useful, it is only a matter of time before my mistress removes my enchantment. Then I would revert to an ordinary toad, incapable of speech. I cannot bear the thought of that. I must become a better servant and I believe that I can do so. If only I knew what my mistress desires. Having received of her blessing, the brooms here are bound to possess this knowledge. Alas, they refuse to talk to me. But as you are our guest, they cannot willfully, willfully ignore you, even if they are not entirely cooperative or forthright. Pray speak with them, Ribbit, and require the information I need to survive. That's so sad. Should you choose to undertake this quest, you'll receive no guidance from the journey, journal, or the duty list. You'll need to read the text carefully and decipher the clues to determine your next course of action. Interesting. So I'm not sure what this quest gives me, but I might do it at some point. Because I, I want to help this frog. It just sounds so sad. So I guess all of these brooms have quests. Shattered Aetherite.
Oh wow, that was the quest thing. I guess one is a spring west of the answering quarter. So yeah, I decided screw it. I'm just gonna do these side quests for the frog. Cause I'm invested in this character. Here's the second one. I don't even remember this frog's name, but he holds a special place in my heart. That's the thing about Final Fantasy XIV. They write their characters so well that even the... Oh. Discover a tree that is arguably serving as a bridge. Nice. But yeah. They write their characters so well that even the side characters that don't even play a huge role in the story you get attached to. Alright, that's all of the broom quests done. So now I've got to go turn him in. Zero Rago, that's his name. I'll remember it this time. Alright, you're the last broom. You better tell us what I'm looking for. Amazing, I can see right through it. Sometimes I can't even tell whether it's there or not. And yet, there's something underwhelming about it all. In the end, it's just ordinary water. Legend speaks of a water which surpasses all waters in beauty. It is unattainable to we brooms, who possess no face. It is said that men have it, but not once has Mistress Matoya shown hers to us. Perhaps her well has run dry. Saltier than the blood brine sea, yet clearer than the Thaliac River. You have this water, I am certain of it. If you will show it to me, I will share with you my knowledge. Cross my bristles and hope to die. So I have to find water. Wait, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to give him. Not sure what I'm supposed to give this broom. So he wants water that men have. So does he just want regular water? Well, I'm not sure what to do. So I'm just going to continue the main story quest for now. Maybe I'll figure it out later, or maybe I'll have to Google it.